What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna polish this hood till there's no paint left. Modern clear coats are made up of three different layers. You have your primer layer, your base coat or your color layer, and then you have a clear coat layer. This clear coat layer is the one that protects the base layer, the color that you have, and this is what takes all the damage on your vehicle. You can get swirls, you can get scratches, you can get defects, you can get tar, sap, stuff that sits on top of your paint. You can take it to a detail shop and you can get all that fixed by polishing the paint. But how many times can you really polish it? Today we're gonna find out. So we have a service called an exterior enhancement. And this usually takes about 80 to 85% of these defects away, these swirls and these scratches. We do one section pass, which is five passes with the buffer. We go one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna tape off a two by two section and we're gonna do a section pass. We're gonna measure it. I got a paint measuring gauge and we're gonna count how many times you can actually buff a car. This isn't a perfect test. Normally you're gonna do a polish after you would do the correcting compound. We're gonna use a heavy cut compound and a cutting pad here. Uh, but I just wanna see how many section passes can we do before we have clear coat failure. So that's the test today. Um, why don't you give me a guess on how many times you think we're gonna be able to buff this thing before we get through that clear coat layer. You know, I've been doing this for 16 years and I've never done a test like this, so I don't know how many times this is actually gonna take, but I got a good guess, so I'm actually gonna write it down in the back of this notebook here. How many section passes do you think I can do on this hood before we have clear coat failure? Don't stop. No, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop every time, okay. and I'm gonna spray it down with the alcohol, I'll wipe it, measure it. If it gets too hot, I'm gonna just let it cool down. Let's measure it now. Well, the microns. No, you don't like microns? Well, I don't like it because it doesn't read. So look at this. Let me show you guys. Uh, let's switch it to microns. Okay. And now, but it doesn't read. It goes 150, 140, 160. It doesn't read like to that last number. This isn't perfect. But uh, I'm actually going to switch it to mils because then you get the half reading at least. We got six mils, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, six right in the middle. I'm gonna try to, do, I mean, it's not a perfect test, but I'm gonna try to keep the same pressure, the same speed that I would be doing on a normal car. And I'll just do that. So you're gonna do five passes? I'm gonna um, do my five, one section pass, so I'll do my five over that and passes. Uh, I'll switch pads if I need to, if it gets clogged up every once in a while, if it gets too hot. I'll stop and let it cool down and I'll come back to it. I'm saying between 45 to 55 then. 45 to 55? Okay. Yeah, that's my idea. Alright. Well, let's find out. exterior enhancement service comes with one section pass, which did remove about 80% of the swirls that were in this hood. Today we're going to be buffing this section more times than any detailer should be. Do not try this on your own vehicle. We're gonna write down, so that was number one. Measurements. Should we just do one right in the middle? Or? Yeah, but that would be the most obvious. Okay. Still at six. Six. Keep on going. You should also know this is gonna be different for every single hood or vehicle or make or model out there. This is a Porsche Macan hood. 
some paints are hard, some paints are soft, so don't take this as it's one vehicle, all this. It's just kind of a fun test we're doing. Six point five six. There's a five point five and two sixes over here. This OEM Macan hood, I would say, is on the medium to hard paint scale. There were a couple of deeper scratches on the section that I was working on, and after about the seventh section pass, this paint was perfectly defect-free, polished to a mirror-like finish. There would be no reason to polish any further if we wanted a perfect reflection from this paint. Number seventeen. 17. Ready? Ah! <laughs> that reads like 5.5 here. Update time, we actually took a couple days break on this because it has been taking so long. We're probably four hours into this and we've done 59 section passes and we still have paint on our hood. Uh, we have lost about a mil of paint. We started at six mils and then we're down at five mils, but we're gonna get back to it and uh, keep on buffing. I think today's the day we're gonna, we're gonna burn through. Pass number 60. <laughs> This is pass number 66 and we got our first sign of clear coat failure right on the top corner here. That's going to continue just to get bigger and bigger and bigger. We got five right on it, four. So most of the panel is reading at 4.5 mils where we uh, have broke through the clear coat, it's reading uh, four mils. You can kind of see all around it. There's five, 4.5, 4.5, five, 4.5, four. Safely, I wouldn't go below five. Four is where you're gonna burn through. 4.5, you're pretty close. Five. I wouldn't be going any, anywhere past five on this panel now that we know that four is the magic number. But we're gonna keep on going. Let's see how far we can take it. All right, we did a few more passes. We just got finished, that was number uh, 70. So we have a couple more burn spots. We have one more on the right side here. And then of course this one is just expanding. So most people aren't gonna burn paint on a flat part of a hood like this. Usually it's gonna be on the edge or a raised piece like this. 
That's where you're usually going to see clear coat failure, and that's just being too aggressive on these edges. When you are buffing on these edges here, they can heat up a lot faster than a flat panel because you have the pad flat over here. You're just working on that one area. Anything. I was just curious to see how many times it took to actually have clear coat failure. Yeah. So it's a lot more than I thought it was. Oh yeah, for sure. Nobody gets it. My guess is 23. What was your guess? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.